Hey YouTube, Ritzel here. Uh, tonight I'm making in the cast iron some uh, salt and pepper fried uh, beef. Now first things first, um, in case you haven't seen one of my other ones, the, I'm going to take and I have a little bit of rendered beef and then I have a little chunk here and I have it on very low. I'm going to render that fat out of that. Right, and then I'm I don't want to make that dry as could be, I just want to get some of the fat rendered out of it. Because I'm gonna give that to Sophia. But I'm gonna use the fat from the media. And then, like I said, I have a little bit right there from the last I did. Now, the meat is all cut up, it's sitting in the fridge. I'm gonna take it out. Um, it's completely dried because or dry I got all the moisture off it because it's been sitting. So, uh, all I got to do is let that happen. Got to rinse off my, uh, my tongs. I cook potatoes with them too, so they're not all. And I don't want that stuff to burn in there. So, I'm going to let that render. And when it's all done, I'll come back and show you what, how I'm going to do this. Alright, I think I've gotten them what I want rendered out of here, which is a decent amount. Like I said, I don't I don't want to overcook it on her too. So I'm gonna take that out and set it aside so it can cool. And see this is the amount I got. Now the meat I'm cooking, except for the ends, uh, is very lean. So I am gonna put a little bit more fat in there than I rendered before. I'll put it all in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it up to just a little bit under um, medium. And uh, I'm going to let that warm up nicely. And uh, once it gets up to right about the temperature I want, I'll uh, jump back on. I got, like I said, the meat sitting out. It's been dried off and it's heating to room temperature. There we go, look at that. So, I'm gonna give that, just, like I said, a minute or two to heat up and I'll be right back. Alright, starting to smoke. So, that's about the heat I want. I'm gonna keep an eye on this because I don't want it to get much hotter than that or stuff will burn. So here's my meat. It's all cut up, like I said. Go. Put it in here and spread it out. That's okay, you see that? Okay, spread that out. I don't want any. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Just like that. Even though it will draw moisture out, I am going to season it nicely with salt. Just salt for right now. Okay. So, I don't have to worry about this as much because I already made her that steak, so that stuff will be plant all right for us. So I'm just going to let this go for a couple minutes until the bottom starts crisping up a little bit. And then I'll be right back. So you don't have to sit and watch it. One thing I am going to do is just a little bit so everything gets a little bit of that beef fat on it. Okay. And I just noticed my oven stove, whatever you want to call it, is uneven again. So I'm going to put it around the opposite way so that side can get more grease on it. Or it can get cooked in the heat in the hotter oil right there. So I'll be back to cut out. Alright, I've checked and a couple of these have pretty good a little bit of browning on the bottom. Well, some on this side aren't cooked very well. So but still I'm gonna stir them up a little bit. Oh and I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit too. So these are giving off Probably shouldn't have salted them right at the beginning, but 
because they're giving out way more moisture than honestly I thought they would because they didn't the other day. But live and learn. No big deal. Now I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Should be it for a soft one. I'm gonna, I have my pepper blend ready, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. I'm gonna grab my pot holder though. Like that. Oops. I did these this cuts like this before, so you know, like some, you know, leaner. It'll, you know, uh, it'll, you know, tighten up cooking it like this. I didn't have any issues. It was really good, so I'm not too worried about it. I probably should have used a little higher heat, but I didn't want to get grease everywhere. The other day after I did it, I had to vinegar the floor, the stove, because <laughs> there was just grease splattering everywhere. So I'm gonna let it go for a couple minutes. And I'll be right back. Right. The liquid mess is dry out, so I'm going to start giving them a stir. Make sure, because I don't want any pink in them. I don't like, now if you like your meat, on, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Whatever temperature you like your meat is uh, when you pull them. So I'm going to get this a little bit crispier for my taste. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to make it salt and pepper beef. But I have this where I want it. So go ahead and put however much pepper you want on there and whatever grind you like. This is that four pepper blend I always talk about. And I love it, but I next time I bake it myself because it's mostly black pepper. And I mean that is the cheapest out of the the, the four peppercorns, so. Whoa. Well, so careful, burn your mouth. Told you. Okay, now I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. A little bit care more careful. Sophia, there's nobody else, gonna, there's nobody gonna take it from you, okay? You don't, you, you don't need to guard it. All right, now I'm going Mm, boy, that smells really, really good. Okay. And now, this is what I like to do. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Like, to about mid, uh, right in the middle of high and low. And then I'm going to take some regular old red wine. And just a blood of it. Alright, like that. I want to get the alcohol cooked out of that. And I'm going to put my lid on there because I like my meat cooked a little bit more than most people, but I don't want it to dry out really bad. Plus, you want to, like I said, you want to get the alcohol cooked out of it or it's going to be disgusting. So you don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that for just a minute. And I will be right back. I just tried this, and it's where I want it. If you want it, you try, like I said, I set one down and tried it. I don't want to waste this grease because I'm going to use it for something different now. I'm going to take the meat out of here. Try not to drop it on the floor. But Sophia's already gotten a couple pieces and the extra pepper in it made her start sneezing. Said, I'm going to use this oil. And you can do this with any kind of seasoning you want. The other night I marinated it in, uh, I think it was avocado oil, and um, I used a bunch of uh, the uh, 
oh shoot, the uh, pepper blend, or uh, not pepper blend, but the bell peppers I use, and it was good. So, this is what it looks like. It is good. Go ahead, give yourself a try. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Alright, everybody, take it easy. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye.